Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I am playing with some some new things I have here. So I have a six by six paper pad. It's the Fall Fun. Um, it's Cartabella, Echo Park, that brand. And um, I did one of their like grab bag things that they had a while back and they they actually sent me 12 by 12 paper and a big chipboard sheet too I haven't gotten that out today but I got the six by six paper pack out and this big sticker book it's 16 pages but look there's all kinds of fall stickers and then these are I guess die cut and just little die cut cardstock pieces okay so that coordinate and some puppy stickers. I haven't had any puppy stickers in a while. But I decided I need to do some more fall crafts. So I wanted to use this. Um, and it's timely. So here we go. So I what I did was there's 24 sheets. So two of each pattern. And they're double-sided in this pack. I went ahead and took 12 of them out. So 12 different ones. And cut off the little strip so that they all measure the six by six now. And we're just going to make some things. Um, I used to watch a bunch of those um, smash your pad videos um, that are on YouTube. If you haven't watched some of those guys, you should. They're fun um, with different crafters. And But I didn't prepare anything. We're just going to make some stuff and see what we can come up with with these 12 pieces of paper. I know um, th these ideas are not going to be like my own. These are things that I've seen other people do at different times. So um, I'm not trying to take credit from anybody. I'm just going to go through there. You know, I think it's Julie at Camellia Crafts that says there's only so many ways to fold a piece of paper. And, you know, we kind of reuse the same themes and ideas over and over um, to come up with different things. So I'm going to see what I can come up with today. So for the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I like that blue plaid, I'm going to take one of the papers that it's six by six, and I'm just going to score it at three inches, which is going to fold it in half. Okay, so like a little folder, like a little mini something that we're probably going to make. And then I want to score it so that we can have some pockets inside that'll fold up. So I'm going to turn it and I'm paying attention to which direction my pumpkins are. And I'm going to score, I don't know, let's do two inches. We'll do another one at a different, at a different point later. Okay, look at that. Ha, we have a folder. Um, I'm going to put the scoreboard up for a second. So, to make this fold nicely, though, I am going to cut out, cut, cut, cut the pocket apart. So, let me ink this so you guys can see where I'm cutting. Ooh, that was a dark. My, my new ink pad sometimes gets away from me. All right, I'm going to just cut the foldy score part out. And um, then we'll see how much nicer it folds together. All right, we don't need that. And if you wanted to, you could angle these and make them look cute. Okay. So there we go. We can have one like that. And of course, it can get decorated. And we can layer some things on there. And then another... So, so I'm going to set that one aside just for a minute. We're going to decorate here in a second. Another one... Ooh... I like this plaid too. What's on this side? Oh, there's two plaids. All right, I've got one that looks like lanterns and some sunflowers. And then these are some cute little um, cards that we're going to be able to cut out and decorate some things with. So I don't want to chop that one up or fold that one up just yet. Let's do this one. So again, let's score it at three inches. And we'll do this one at one and a half. And then same thing. I'm going to fold it in half. And we're going to cut out that score line. And then we're going to fold it a little differently, though, to make it a little different. And I did the pocket size a touch different. So go just up, up to the other fold line. Not which I haven't folded yet. That's why it's having trouble. 
I really like that plaid. Isn't that cute? I don't know what it is about fall and plaid. Okay, and you can do this and have a pocket on the front or what, what, I don't know which one I want which way. Yeah. Okay, so a regular one and a pocket on the front. They're two different heights. And then let's pick another one. Keep going. Okay, this one has a plaid and then kind of a, I don't know, it's like little bitty, tiny, tiny little plus signs. My scoreboard is really old. I get people ask me about it. It's a Stampin' Up one, and I think they still make them. I don't know. Um, three inch score, but um, it's so loose that the tool falls out of there all the time, and it's a little annoying, to be honest. Okay, this one I'm gonna do at a two inch, and I'm gonna do two like this or maybe even three that will turn into like a little, ooh, more little cards. We'll turn it into like a little um, journal, putting them together. So again, I'm scoring it three inches and turning it and scoring it two. Yeah, let's do three. I'll do one that's a standalone. Ooh, more sunflowers. One that is um, with the little folder on the pocket on the front and then I'm going to do three that we turn into a little journal. All right, now let's start doing something with these and we can always make more, but so I don't confuse you guys. So these three we're going to fold all the same way, I think. We'll see. I might change my mind, so don't hold me to that. Make sure everything folded and creased. Aren't these colors fun together? I, um, if you don't have six by six papers, by the way, I think this is, um, the, what, of course what would work is you could take your 12 by 12 papers, cut them in half and in half again, and then you'd have four six by six papers. So that would be, if you wanted to make some of these little projects, that would be fun. And if you don't have any scrap of paper, you could use a printable and just cut a piece to six by six. So, you know, I, I like using up some of my scrapbook papers and things that I have on hand for some of these projects. But if you wanna make what I'm making and you don't have the same papers or the same size papers, you really can, um, with a with a six by six at least, right? You can you can make your own. You can. We talk about making Franken paper. Um, you could even, I guess, tape or sew or construct paper to get to a twelve by twelve size if you don't have any and you're wanting to make one of the twelve by twelve projects. But it's much easier to go smaller. <laughs> All right, I have definitely made what I call that Franken paper myself at different times through the years, um, but mostly for journals. Like I want some larger pages, maybe in a larger journal. So I attach some papers together so that, you know, I have some bigger sheets. The neighborhood dogs are all barking. Um, it's always fun times, right? Okay, like I said, I haven't quite decided yet how I'm gonna do this. I haven't made one of these in a long time, but this is gonna be a no-sew, super easy. And again, everything with cutting that little score line out, these will fit together pretty well, but it doesn't hurt to kind of you know play with them. Okay, I think I'm gonna do do them in that order, and you can do more. Um, but what we're gonna do is glue this panel to this panel like this. And I'm gonna glue mine so that we have a side load pocket. 
that'll be fun. So I'm not gluing all of these pockets down and together yet because I'm just not quite sure yet what I want to do. But let me, let me add some ink to make it a little easier again to see what I'm doing. So I am going to add the glue here, here, and right along that score line so that when I glue the other page to it, we'll leave the side open. Okay. And this is the one I want to glue to it. And I'm going kind of just right up to the score line. And get a nice, a nice edge. We can wrap something around these once we glue them together if we want to. Maybe we'll use a piece of washi tape and do that. If you don't have washi tape, you can make some or just make take a strip of paper. You might want to use a thinner paper. This is pretty sturdy. That one's folding up on me. Okay, so now I want to install this one on this side. And same thing, I'm going to just leave it open. Even if I don't put anything in there, I'll have that option. So I've got glue on the bottom, the top, and then right along this back edge. I have it turned the right way and we're going to just stick this one down. All right, there we go. If you want to, you can round your corners, do some different things. We have that one. That one's glued together and we have this one. So again, if we want to, we could flip one of the pockets around this way and have a pocket on the cover, but I think I'm gonna leave them inside. I think so. Let me see if I change my mind as I go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave them on the inside. So before I go any further, let's go through and just glue our pockets down. So add glue just to the two sides. And you just, you do want to be neat and careful. If you want to ink, you can ink before you glue. Um, you know, if you want to ink across the edges, I'm not too worried about that right now. I'll think about that in a minute. If I, <laughs> I, may, I may have missed my opportunity, right? But it's okay. I can always add a little bit later. Let's see. It's just easier to do it before you glue, but I got excited and decided to glue my pockets together. All right, and that will help that one that's wanting to bit fold over for some reason. What an easy, fun little mini journal. So this just took three six by six pieces of paper. If you want yours to have more pages, you can add more. Because right now I have one, two, three, four pages. So I already even have one. You know, if we wanted to, we could put another one on here. Why don't we do that? It seems a little, seems a little like it needs more. So let's just do that. Why not? Do I want the pumpkins on the front or do I want the, the pumpkins on the back and the plaid on the front? I think because of the way the patterns are lining up, I'm going to put this one on the front. So again, glue on three sides. I am using my PVA Lineco brand glue, and it is getting, it doesn't usually stop up like this. Um, if you wanna see some of my supplies that I use, most of them are in my Amazon storefront, which will be linked for you in the description. And um, you can check out some of the things that I use. Um, it's an affiliate link, so Amazon will pay me a few pennies if you click on it and end up making a purchase. But don't worry about it. It's just there for you as a resource, and um, it's no cost to you. So I do appreciate it if you click on my stuff, but again, no pressure and no need to unless you just wanna see what I use or you need some supplies. Okay, glue, glue, glue. All right, look at that. How quick and easy and fun. All right, so now we have a little, um, like a little mini journal. Like I said, I think it's gonna make it look cute 
if I wrap, I didn't get any washi out, but we'll get some out. I have, I have projects. Oh wait, here's one. I used this in a project recently, and that's why it's still out. We'll just use this one. Because it's this fabulous, these leaf, the leaf pattern, and it will coordinate. All right, I am going to, now, I don't know how great my washi tape is, right? Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna add some glue, and I'm gonna make it longer than what I need, and then we'll trim it off, hopefully, neatly. Try to get it straight. And then let that glue stick. Now I'm gonna trim it to the correct height, if I can. Um, this is where using an X-Acto knife or maybe a tiny pair of scissors would benefit me. But I got it. These are my favorite scissors that I use almost exclusively and I um, try not to let them get gunked up. If I'm gonna be cutting or dealing with a lot of stuff that's really sticky, I tend to um, use just a, a pair of scissors that are not my favorite. Okay, I got that to wrap around. There's a little more on the front than on the back, but there was enough, so it's okay. And that just gives it where you don't kind of see those different layers quite as much. All right. It is probably a good idea to open up your pages and make sure you didn't accidentally like ooze glue and, and get them all over the place. All right, so we'll play with that one in a minute. Let's decorate this one and see, um, see what we can do. I think my paper trimmer, my little one will work. And I'm going to give thanks in all things and make, I think I'm gonna use the Making Memories one. I'm gonna cut them to approximately the size, but then I'm gonna cut it down because it's a little big, but I'm gonna just cut it based on the pretty, the image. <laughs> so whatever you're decorating the front of yours with, I can, I'll give you the measurement here in a second. It looks like it's gonna be two and a quarter. Let's see, I'll take just a sliver, just a tiny sliver, and it's gonna be almost three and three quarters. There we go very cute and then whoa on the other side of this paper was this cute plaid and I think I am going to it'll be the perfect height let's um put a strip of that on I know I'm covering up the pumpkins but th there's more pumpkins to be seen if we just to kind of give it a little pop so it's not so much white on white. And I'm gonna ink around. I really like this plaid paper on the back of this one too. These kits are so fun to play with and I don't do a lot of this type of crafting anymore, but I do, I just love a paper pad. I can't help myself. And um, it reminds me a little more of my kind of scrapbooking days. But these are just fun things to have for people like me that also like to junk journal. Just little little ideas to add to and make your crafting interesting. You know what, speaking of that, I did get out some of these thinking that they might be the right colors. How about, let me find, if I can find it, this fella. This is that little ribbon kind of slot punch that I have. And I'm just gonna put a little piece of the orange just kind of put it on here. We'll see, just to give it another texture before we glue this down. So I hope if you're still with me and you're watching, you will maybe grab some of your papers. Um, if you don't, like I said, if you don't have six by six, grab something and just cut some that size and make a little something with me today. We can just have some fun. Hold on. I think I don't want it this long, and I love my seam binding. This is the seam binding that I hand dye, and um, I don't want to, not that it would be wasteful, but I don't know. I want to save as much of it as I can. So if I do this, 
and I'll trim it. I don't know if I can do something with that little tiny piece, but I might be able to. All right, cute. It's already starting to look special, don't you guys think? All right, and I don't wanna forget that I have those um, little packets that coordinate. I don't usually get those. Whoa, like I said, this was one of their surprise packs that they do occasionally. And I thought, well, why not? So I got the fall, the, what is it, fall fun? And then, um, here's the stickers. Yes. This says, yeah, fall fun. And then it says, fall is my favorite. Um, and then there was like one of the big Christmas packs of papers too, which of course makes me super happy because I am definitely um, well into my Christmas crafting mood. So I'll probably make another one of those fun tag folio things out of it just because I love making those and they make me very happy. Now, if you've glued yours together like I did and you have this going on, see see how it's just off just a little? No matter how careful I am, I can't ever quite make it perfect, but look, pair of scissors and we are good, we are in business. So I'm just gonna trim these off. Now you do wanna be careful, cause like what I'm trimming here is probably gonna open up my pocket. And um, if it does, then I'll just glue it back down. Okay. And as I go through, if I notice that on the other pages, I'll probably trim them up really quick too, like this one just to show you how to fix it. Or if you're like, oh, it just doesn't look as neat as I want it. Guys, it's paper. And like I said, if it ends up, now remember we left this open intentionally for a pocket, but if it opens up one of these, you can just add more glue, but mine are fine. They are working just fine. Let me just get my scissors in here. So I was, um, at my desk earlier today and I got a sweet phone call from my dad, my daddy. <laughs> I'm so fortunate um, just hearing his voice, you know. He turned 81 earlier this month and he has like a more active social life and all kinds of things going on than I do. Um, but we just had a lovely chat, a lovely conversation. And it was nice. And he always asks about uh, my crafting business. Of course, he asks about his grandkids. Um, and I just saw him in September. I my husband and I try to get to Florida to visit him a couple of times, at least a couple of times a year. So I certainly don't see him as much as I would probably like to. I'm going to see if there's a sticker I want to use. Um but it's always nice when he um, and I have a chance to just chit chat. So that was a fun treat for me today. Um, he and he said they live on the the Withalacuchi River, which is right off of the Rainbow River um, in Florida, and all the hurricanes that have come. What happens is days and weeks after the hurricanes, of course. The water flows, all that water flows into the rivers, and so they've got a lot of flooding, and they'll, they'll be okay in their house, but their property is flooded, and the access road, the driveway to get in and out, that cute little pumpkins, anyway, um, is a bit of an issue, so he was explaining and telling me all about that, and um, they moved, they, their truck right now can still get in and out, and they're going to one of his um, his partners, her son. They're, they're going to his house for a few days, but they parked their other car at this other property. And then if they are home and they get flooded in, one of her other sons can come get him in his boat, in the, in the boat and, and get them out of there. So he was telling me the whole plan, I guess, to make me feel better so I wouldn't have to worry. Um, but he's very sweet like that and thoughtful, so. All right, this one is a little bit too big for what I'm trying to do, so I don't think I'm gonna use it. What I was thinking is I would take some of these and decorate the pop pockets, whoops, just because it's easy 
and fun and it coordinates. And I also have the stickers to decorate the pockets with. And then I was also going to um, put some in, in the pockets and just kind of stuff it. And this would just be a fun, fun little mini journal that you can um, take these pieces Oh, look, there's a little, they're cut out all the way. I gotta pop all these out. Um, you know, to write on, to tie on to a gift, then to use in a larger journal. I always say that, but I really do. Like I make these little inserts and then like in another fall journal that I'm actually doing a lot of journaling or artwork or writing in, then I can take a piece or two from these little inserts and decorate a page. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe you can with the blue. Yeah. There's just little holes there. So let's put a piece of ribbon or something on this one to dress it up. Maybe the piece that has some more of the, the darker and the green in there would work. I never know how much I'm gonna need. And I would rather have just a little too much and be able to actually tie the ribbon the way I want to or loop it on than not enough. But, but then I'm like, wait. <laughs> Oh, cute. Yep, I like that. And I like it against the blue there. So this is going to be cute with all the different little ribbons and things popping out. And I wonder, after I said this is too big, I wonder how it would look in one of the side loads. Would it be okay hanging out? Eh, it's still a little big. I'm not sure I like that. All right. Ooh, another beautiful fall day. That's way too big unless I chop it up some. These are sometimes fun just to look at. Now, if you don't have all of these little kinds of pieces, you definitely can, you know, make your own ephemera using some of the papers. Um, and of course, we can cut up some of these. Um, and I started cutting one of them for the one on the front, obviously. Um, I could have put it on the paper trimmer instead of my scissors. Um, and then we may have to just trim them down to make them fit. But we could do that too. But you know, you can also just take some of your pretty papers or other pieces of ephemera you have to stuff the pockets with. There's lots of choices. I'm gonna cut just a little bit off of that edge. Fall is made with pumpkin spice and everything nice. A little bit big there, but I think this is gonna be a really good size. And I don't mind it hanging out a little bit. And we'll put a, a ribbon or something on there in just a minute. All right, I think this one's gonna be a little large, so I'm gonna set it over here, but these are gonna be a good size. So, let's see. I have gotten a couple of requests from some of you guys. By the way, I like your requests. I try to honor them and add things to my list. And I've got a, a, a decent list. I could I could add more to it, so don't, don't hesitate if you've got an idea. But um, I definitely, to, to just like, to not feel like I have to completely plan out a tutorial that you guys would like to just have me craft and see how, how my mind works, I guess, or how I go about um, making some different things. So thank you if you have been one of those to make a request. So this one um, is me just crafting. And like I said, I hope you'll craft along with me. I have an idea that I need a strip of paper for. So I am going to cut this one down a touch and then see if this is big enough. All right, which, which sheet would this look cute on? I've already decorated those two that had the blue. Let's do it on this plaid. So what I'm gonna do is make a tiny, tiny pocket. I'm just trimming a sliver of the, where I didn't cut it the best. And you can see the color of the cardstock. I'm gonna make a little tiny pocket <laughs> on a pocket. So we'll have an extra pocket, because you, you know, I'm in that club. You can't have too many pockets. I could have used the orange plaid side. Um, we're gonna stack a pocket on here so that I can put a couple of these things that are a little bit shorter and smaller. Like that one, I don't think we would completely lose, but some of these just seem a little tiny, right? <laughs> There's a little one. And we can put them in here. I was even thinking something like that, but I think I'm gonna do the teeny tiny things. 
Here's one, Harvest. It has a little tractor. So he could even go in, in that direction. So anyway, that's cute too, right? Um, so many choices and fun things to do. I wonder what to put on the back. Give thanks in all things. Yeah, because then I've got the blue from this chair. And if I put this on the back, I can trim it down even a little bit more on the sides. I think it will look nice on the back and it'll bring that color to the back as well. So let's try that. This is um, walnut. <laughs> it looks pretty bad because I probably need to... to um, give myself permission to get out a new sponge topper. I go through these quite often. This one's still working. It's not shedding too much. All right, I'm going to do give thanks and all things because I want the back decorated too. And I don't think I need a ribbon on the one on the back. So we're just going to glue this one down. And I'm eyeballing that tiny pumpkin there. Um to maybe put on here too, we'll see. So again, use whatever papers you have. Uh, it's an easy, easy fold, and then a glue together to make this cute little mini journal, which I wasn't sure what I was gonna end up making when I sat down, but now we know. And I'm going to, all right, this got a little dirty there, so that's where we're gonna put our ribbon. Okay, so sometimes you just make a decision because you need to cover up something. And I try to not get things dirty, but when you're using distress ink and you got glue on your hands and, you know, anything can happen, right? And that looks like a combination of some adhesive and some distress ink. Ah. All right, I think a little bit, we'll see if we don't like it, we'll do something different. I could also just staple a little piece of this ribbon on here. But I was thinking a little bow right there. Is that too much? Let's see what it's going to look like in that pocket. It might be. Well, you know what, Pam? That's not very smart. Let's do... Where's that tiny piece? Where did the tiny piece run off to? It might be perfect to just tuck right here with a little staple and I'll use that bow somewhere else. Yeah, we just have a teeny tiny touch of ribbon. And I may even do my staple a little bit on an angle just to make it look sassy. We'll see. See if I can hold it together and do that. Sometimes with these little tiny pieces, it's a little challenging. All right, is it sassy? I don't know. There we go. Cute though, right? And now we have a little a little piece of ribbon down here. We've got that green up top. Um, how about a sticker? I keep forgetting I've got all these things. Oh, and I have those puppy stickers too. When was the last time I had puppy stickers to play with? I don't want to forget those either. Let's see. All right, that's the paper. Here we go. Puffy stickers. One says pumpkin patch on it. And y'all, I actually, don't laugh at me. I save, like, um, sometimes I'll even save these to keep little pieces in. But this is a really nice piece of cardstock. We could make something out of this. I will um, think about a video for you guys where we can use all the different packaging that we have. It's sort of like the idea of using our junk mail. Same, same sort of idea. How about this little car? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll put him right here. It really um, is fun to use things that you would normally just throw away and then have something really pretty at the end of it. I like how chunky this is going to end up being. Very sweet. Now, we can also... Oh, look, mushrooms. How cute. Um, we can... Let me set these aside. This is what I was looking for. That might be a little bit large. We can also take some of these stickers and... Um, ooh, 
Look at this tree. You guys know I love trees. We are going to find one of these cards to put this tree on. <laughs> Probably should have thought through it before I just jumped right in. But it's going to look cute on one of these squares. And I think it's going to fit. I just didn't even hesitate, did I? <laughs> these are scissors just to make sure I can feel what I'm doing here. All right, I think these are going to be great. These are going to be like little three by three squares. So we may have to trim them just a little if we want them to fit in this size pocket. But look how cute. They're going to fit great in those side load pockets, I believe. So let's see where we left this open here. And of course, the sticker is going to lift up because I haven't really pushed it down well. There we go. Very cute, right? And it says Autumn Harvest. So let's find somewhere in the mess on my desk one of my bone folders. And we're going to push that tree down really good. And then... I think we can loop a little piece of ribbon on here too. It'll be cute. Maybe a yellow, a piece of the yellow. Uh, I probably need to take this ribbon <laughs> and wrap it around something. All right, I'm gonna cut off where there was more of the green because I did really want some of the yellow. I think that'll be okay. Um, wrap it around something so it's a little bit easier for me to use. Sometimes it's really hard to find the end of the ribbon. Now, one thing that's cute here, let me show you. I think I've shown you guys this before with this slot punch, and you can just use a circle, you know, if you don't have the slot, that's okay. I just like how it just ties on too. It's really cute. So we'll do it that way. Just tie it on. It's gonna be fluffy, very fluffy. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on these yet. I was thinking I could decorate them, I could layer them, make them a little bit bigger um, on another piece of paper, and then something like that. But then I cover up the cute mushrooms. But if I layered it, then I could have a little more, have it a little taller, a little bit different size. Those are cute sizes too. There's just so much to look at with these papers. How about we do this? Let's make a paper tab. That will be cute. All right, so I'm gonna cut this one and I'll give you the measurement. How long did I cut that? It is almost one and three quarters. I'm just going to fold it in half. And I'm gonna do it off to the side. Let's do put a little bit of ink on here. And I actually think what'll be cute is let's use like a little brad to hold it on. Wouldn't that be cute? All right, so I'm gonna hold it there. Right there. And I'm going to, still haven't found my paper piercer. So that's on my Pam's got to do list. I'm gonna use a needle. This paper's super thick, and my hands are not the strongest anymore. But there we go. We have a nice, neat hole. Just using a, a big ribbon. And let's put a little brad in there. What color? I think, I think the brassy ones would look cute, and so would the gold. This one's kind of a copper color. Let's use it. So... I wanna go through, it's gonna be all three layers, but um, there we go. I think it's gonna be super cute. I used to use, you know, brads and eyelets and all of these little things, and I used to make all those fancy scrapbooks from when my kids were little. I'll have to get one of mine out one day. If you guys wanna see one, let me know. I could. 
um, pull it out in one of my videos and show you a few pages. <laughs> if that's of interest, let me know. If not, if no one says anything, I'll just know. Y'all are like, Pam, that's okay. We'll pass. But um, I used to like to use all of these little different kinds of pieces. that cute? And it kind of turns too. I like that. I'm going to leave that one alone for right now. And then these are the ones that I said are going to be just a smidge too big. So I'm going to cut this one by looking at that little interior border frame. And I bet you it will now. Oh, it's still a little bit. My glue got a little bit, a little bit too much on the edges. So that one is a little too big still. We're going to save it for something else. How about that? Oops, see how that slides in there? And I just really don't want it to fall in there quite so much. Let's see if we can trim this one up. Get it narrow enough to fit. Yeah, look at that autumn nights. That will work. I'm going to leave the little borders on there. I think that's kind of cute. Get that out of my way for a minute. So again, if you don't have ribbons, um, you can, you guys know I love to use some twine. You might, maybe you have some twine, um, but you can use the paper like I just did on this one. You know, just think about what do I have and what do I think will work. Um, and, you know, you have lots of options. I there's one um, crafter, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to try to find her name. She will use um, like, well, Pam at the Paper Outpost, she's really good about using like linens, like old um, sheets and pillowcases, things like that, which I love. I think she's probably even done some like, if you have a blouse or um, something that has some lace on it that you're no longer wearing or whatever, you can repurpose that, you know, you can um, tear that up. Sometimes you can find it the, uh, consignment stores, Goodwills, places like that, really inexpensive pieces of clothing instead of actual fabric, and it's a little bit cheaper sometimes. So that's something to think about too, because you can just cut strips and then use that for a ribbon. Um, so you don't have to necessarily have all of the fancy, um, the fancy kind of things, but they are fun. They're fun to play with on occasion. And this Echo Park company, they do run like warehouse sales and things. I tend to get a lot of mine on Amazon, but um, this was one of their warehouse sale deals. And like I said, you just, I can't remember how much I paid, but you kind of just get what they send you. So if, if you're not okay with that, then you would want to wait and be able to make a purchase when you, you know what you're going to get, right? Oh, look at this cute little frame. I'm not going to pop it out yet, but... That's going to be cute with the sunflowers and pumpkins. Okay. We got a couple more pockets. So I think what I'm going to do is try to be a little bit fast and go ahead and finish this one up because I still want to decorate a touch. The other one where I kind of folded the pocket backwards a little differently show you how that one can come together as a t as a tiny little folder these are so fun um da -da 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 -da. i think these will fit nicely i keep forgetting that i can use my paper trimmer all right these are a little bit big but i think these are going to be a good size now this one I'm going to trim off that little bit of burgundy. Oh, the back are cute little fall wreath kind of pattern. So hard for me when I have these pretty papers that are um, two-sided. I was going to show you guys too. These are all the little branding strip things. It's like when you pull it out of the paper packet, it has that hole um, here. And the, the paper is... You know, this isn't really part of the six by six, so really it's six and a half, um, but there's a hole there. However, save these because look how cute we can um, make make some of those little tags and topper things um, out of out of these. So 
just a thought, you may want to um, not throw those away. You're probably like, Pam, you have so many scraps. Why do you need to be worrying about these little strips? I just can't help myself. I love, love paper. And I'm always thinking, oh, I can make something out of that. <laughs> All those little strips. Okay, that's going to fit in there, which was my goal. And I'm going to make a different little kind of tab topper out of one of these strips for it. Take the blue. I think the blue will be good. It's going to be similar, but we're not going to use a brad. So I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to ink. The pumpkins are cute. And then we're going to use a sticker, too. So I'm going to fold it on here. And I'm just going to glue it. So again, if you don't have brads, you can just glue it. I'm going to kind of, it would help if I wouldn't make such a mess while I'm trying to show you guys things. And I'm not going to glue here, and that way it kind of, it stays open. I'll just show you. It's just, I'm gluing the parts that are attaching it to the card, but I kind of left it open. Um, What's something that'll show you that through there? See? Okay. And then I was thinking there might be a cute tiny, because I saw a bunch of tiny little stickers that might be cute. I have to think about what would go with that pattern. I don't know, maybe just a leaf. Yeah, there we go. Why not, right? Why not make it cute? I love it. So there's that. And I think I'm going to pick gratitude, which this time of year especially, it should be all the time, right? But it's on my mind. I'm doing my gratitude um, workshop Saturday. You guys, it's probably going to already be done by the time you guys see this video. But... Um, want to use these polka dots. I am excited because we're all going to be making these pocket size gratitude journals and then we are going to have them to be able to use in the month of November. Um, so they are fall themed using my feeling like, no not feeling like fall, my fall gratitude paper kit and that's going to be super fun and that's an in-person workshop but um, if you guys I've shown you diff several different um, ways to use that kit to make a gratitude journal. So we're not going to be doing anything that you haven't already. If you or want to watch a video, you can't do a video and do um, at home using whatever papers you want. Or if you want to use my paper kit that's on Etsy, you can. So fun, fun, fun things. I'm just going to put a little green polka dot there just to dress that pocket up. And... I need a little something to put in here. It's a little short. I know this is going to be a little short. And he's going to fly away. I need something for this pocket. There's just so many things to do. All right. I'm going to chop the wreath just a touch. He could have stayed wide for the pocket I'm going to put him in. But there we go. And see if it's still too tall. That was really the direction I needed to be thinking about. Kept this one open. Did I keep this one open? I did. Yeah, still too tall. So we'll chop off a little bit more on the bottom. That's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> it's just standing up on its own. All right. Now I have one to go here. Yeah, very cute. I may need to add a few more ribbons, but I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that little mini journal. Okay, so we'll set it aside real quick. We're just going to assemble this one and see what we can do with it. So as a reminder, we scored this one at three inches, folded it in half. We scored for the pocket one and a half. This is a smaller pocket, not quite so deep. And I folded one of the pockets to the inside and one to the outside 
for the front cover. All right, so we're gonna glue the front cover pocket just by adding glue again to the two sides. And the inside pocket, same thing. And then for this piece here, I don't know what I have laying on my desk that might work. I was thinking it might be nice to put something a little more neutral to journal on. I want you to know too, let's see. I told you we started with six pages. And now we're down to, because of all the tags we cut out. No, yeah, we no, we started with 12. Yeah, half of the pack. And I have three that I have not cut yet. Pretty interesting, right? So we could make quite a few more folders. with, And this is just half of the six by six pad. So there's a lot going on with this paper. Okay. Back to what I'm doing here. Let's think about it for a second. Oh, okay. Let me show you what I have. Uh, this is just crafting with what is on my desk. These are offcuts of some of my coffee dyed papers. And a lot of times I will put pieces of this in my, you know, in my, my bigger journals, and then I have to cut them to the right size. And then I have all these little strips and I write quotes on these. I do all kinds of things, but I am also, um, save them and we're going to layer it in here so that we have some writing paper. So I've got to remind myself how tall this is. I want to have a little bit, it's four and a half. So I want to see some of that plaid. So I'm going to go to three and three quarters and we'll see see what it looks like and as you can imagine I have lots of these little strips of all different widths <laughs> oh yeah that's gonna be cute and we're gonna bring it down a little and I'm gonna put some kind of little topper right here too and yep there'll be a seam there but that's okay we'll get to use this not throw it away and I think it will give our little folder a nice touch to have some writing space. So I'm gonna bring it down. Could have gone a little taller with it probably. And just overlap them a touch to get it to the width that I want. Yep, there we go. Very cute. Now this is where one of these fun strips might come in, and I have lots of them. The little orange leaves, the stripes. Hmm, it's hard to decide. Ooh, another, a different plaid? Is that too much plaid? That's probably too much plaid. Okay, Pam, too much plaid. Let's do the little orange leaves. All right, and I'm gonna tear it. I do this all the time with little toppers for little journaling spots or little pads of paper. I like it. It gives it kind of that junk journal-y kind of look. And gives us a little something else to look at. And then I'm also going to go back to this sticker book and find a word. Ooh, here we go. How about, um, we'll go right back to gratitude since that's on my mind. Put it right here. And this can go in my, one of my larger gratitude journals later for myself. All right, so now I have that. All right, we need to decorate this little pocket just a little bit. Ooh, you know what we can do? We'll make, we'll add this to the pocket, but leave it open so then there's still that pocket back there. So I only want the glue. I don't wanna add glue to the entire piece. I only want it to go up to the top of the pocket. So there we go. <laughs> All right, so now this is still nice and open. This is still too wide to fit in there. And I could trim it down, but I kind of, I like this with that little border. So I'm gonna use that for something else. I'm not gonna worry about it not fitting. Um, this is where, 
since I'm, I'm struggling to find some things that are the right size and this just seems too small, let's make something, right? So we can, <laughs> all the options, I think I'm going to, hmm, I wonder if I can make my life difficult, right? Just, just make it life difficult. I want to cut this into a little bit. I'm going to lose a little bit of the words, but I'm okay with that. You can still read it. Leaves are falling. Autumn is calling. I know what it says. And now I have a fun circle that I am going to put on this strip of paper. And we're going to cut it down. I'm going to make this four inches. Fits in there nicely now. The back's fine. And I'm going to just put this little, little circle on here. And again, I'm only going to add glue to about half of the circle. It's going to be my little pull. Very cute. Put that there. Got all kinds of plaid and it's sticking up a little bit, which I like. And I need something for this back pocket. Wondering if I can cut this one to be narrow enough where it says home sweet home, which is kind of nice because many of us are very thankful for our homes, right? I know I am I'm very thankful for my safe, um, beautiful home. Oh, yeah, very happy with that. And I haven't done any ribbons or anything on this one yet, but that's okay. I can save it for another time. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, and I get to have the mushrooms too, so that definitely makes me happy. All right, let's tuck that in there. Um, you know what might be cute though would be some kind of little tab or something to the side, again, with the blue, right? To keep the blue theme going. And let's see. I'm going to pop it on right here. I think it's a little bit longer than what I need. I'd always rather have it a little a little too big than not big enough. And then, all right, do I like it to the side there or do I want it at the top? I think I want it at the top. You know, that's one of the wonderful things about being an artist, a crafter, you can change your mind. All right, and I'm just gonna do it the same way. It would be really cute with a brad, so I may come back later and put a brad right there in the middle, but I'm not gonna take the time to do that right now. Very cute, could keep adding things. This pocket definitely needs something, so let's do a sticker. How about simple? We'll go with the one that says autumn. Yep. And it kinda, um, mirrors that which is fun too all right i'm gonna call it a day we used nine of our pieces so there's still three more let me just squish all this out of my way three more that i haven't used but we've got this cute little mini journal look at that so sweet this was using four six by six pieces of paper and this is one six by six made it a little taller all right hope you guys like these ideas let me know leave me a comment give me a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe until next time everybody have a great day thanks